everybody. Let's go ahead and get started. Grab a soccer ball. And we are on our way. All right, let's do it. Let's go ahead and start in a standing position. Big toes to touch, heels are a sliver apart. Take a deep inhale, grow tall through the crown of the head. Breathe in, arms reach up towards the sky. Lengthen, reach, 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 and lengthen the body. Good, exhale, forward fold. Good, forehead to shins, bend your knees. Just let your head hang, let your head pull on your spine in the opposite direction. Good, let the weight just open up those vertebra one by one. Think about them unsticking from one another. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen that spine. And exhale, let's come down into child's pose. Knees are wide, big toes to touch. Reach the fingers really, really long. Sink your hips back towards your heels. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, let your chest and head fall. Good. If you want to take it a little bit further, you can spider man the fingertips, lift the elbows and let the chest fall towards the floor. Good, inhale, come on up to tabletop. Stack your knees under your hips, your wrists under your shoulders. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin to your chest, push the floor away. Inhale, cow. Let's try to stick breath to movement. Exhale, cat, round and push the floor away. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. One more time in each direction. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to neutral spine. From here, let's go ahead and tuck the toes. And we're just going to lift the knees. So your shins are hovering over the mat. Try not to dump into your shoulders. Push the floor away as if you're physically trying to push your body further away from the mat. So your shins are hovering. Good, holding here, squeeze your core. Squeeze that tummy and then exhale, down dog. Maybe step your feet back a little bit and start to pedal out the legs. One by one, press your chest towards your thighs. Let your head just fall. Good, straightening one leg, driving that heel down. Your toes should be pretty much touching, maybe an inch apart. Keep them nice and close. Maybe drop one hip and then the other. Just walking out your dog. Good, finding stillness here. Drive your tailbone up, take a deep breath. On your exhale, start to walk your hands back towards your feet, bend your knees as much as you need to. Let your chest drape over your thighs. So hands stay on the mat, bend your knees like you're sitting back into a chair, but let your chest rest on your thighs and the top of your head fall towards the floor. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Pull your forehead towards your knees. If you're feeling too much tightness, bend your knees even more. Inhale, mountain pose. Arms reach out and up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen the spine. Pull the shoulder blades together behind you. If it helps to do this, you can reach the fingertips back, pulling the shoulders away from the ears, lengthening the spine. Exhale, plant the fingertips and then walk the hands back into a plank. So we're gonna hold here. I want you to separate your feet as wide as your mat so that your pinky toes are touching the outer edges of your mat. 
Good. We're going to tap the left hand to the right shoulder, and then we're going to switch. Inhale, hands down. Exhale, switch. Try to go as slow as you can without moving your lower body. So you're going to really have to engage the legs and engage the core. Good, squeeze. Make sure your booty's not really high, drop it down, switch. Get that heat building early. Squeeze those legs. When you transfer that weight, try not to move your hips too much. Keep going. Five more, five, four, three, Two, one, drop those knees, child's pose. Good, you can bring the knees together this time. You can bring them wide, whatever feels good to you. Maybe sway the hips side to side. Good, on your inhale, come back up to high plank. And then when you're ready, back to downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale. And on your exhale, walk the hands back towards the feet. Forward fold, let your chest drape over your thighs. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, press through the heels, reach to the sky. Exhale, we're gonna interlace the fingers and then rein over to the right. Good, holding here. So I want you to ground down through your left foot, engage your left hip. Inhale, come back through center, and exhale over to the left. Holding here. Engage the core, engage the body. Inhale, back through center, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the palms, walk the hands forward, back into a high plank. This time we're gonna tap the knees. We're gonna tap right knee and then our left, but I don't want you sending the hips up and down. I want you to stay into a high plank and then you're just dropping the knee. So nothing should be moving here. Just your knees, tapping the mat. Five, four, three, two, one. And then downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, walk your hands back towards your feet. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Forward fold. Good, let your head hang. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Fingertips come to shins, create a really flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, arms reach out and up. Exhale, forward fold. Forehead to shins, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the palms, walk the hands forward. Holding here, you're gonna take the left foot out and tap. Right foot out to the side, tap. Left foot out, tap. Good, keep going, right, tap. Left, tap. Keep going. You should be really starting to build heat in that body. Squeeze, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, drop those knees. Sit up nice and tall, lengthen the spine. Inhale, arms up over the head, and then drop one to the side and reach all the way over. Good, inhale through center, both arms up. Exhale over to the other side. Try not to drop that front shoulder. Lift it up, stack them on top of one another. 
Inhale, come up, arms up. And as you exhale, you're going to come forward, bring the hands, you're gonna lift your hips, you're gonna cup your heels. Bring your forehead to your knees and then drop your hips. Let the top of your head rest on the mat. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, I want you to pull your forehead closer to your knees. Really rounding through that spine. Good, one more deep breath. And slowly come on back up. Let's go ahead and take a seat, grab your soccer ball, let's do some core. All right, so to start, we are going to lay all the way back. You're gonna bring your ball to your shins. I think we've done these before. So it's really important that you keep your shins 90 degree angle um, or your legs 90 degree, your shins parallel with the floor. So you're gonna take a deep inhale, hands over your head. Exhale, you're gonna reach the ball, tap it behind you and set it back on your shins. Whoops, tap that ball or tap the ground behind you. Reach up, grab that ball, tap it. Keep going. Don't drop that ball, keep those shins nice and steady. Straight, whoops. <laughs> I wonder if I'm the only one dropping the ball today. If so, that's okay. We are not perfect. Keep going. We're gonna go 30 more seconds. You can do this, keep it going. Remember, tap that ball all the way behind you. Nice job, you guys. Breathe. Make sure you're breathing and working hard. Good. Stay focused. Think about your core muscles. Think about the muscles in your stomach. Think about engaging them. Three, two, one. Nice job. Wall to wall stretch, lengthen, reach, reach, reach. And then draw your knees to your chest, rock and roll three times, the entire length of your spine. One more time, just because it's fun. All right, hands on your ball. You're going to bring your shins 90 degrees, and then we're going to throw the ball up over your head. So we're gonna do this 50 times. Okay, throw it right up. Try not to fall. Stay focused. 50 times, you can do it. Lift your legs, good, lift them up. <laughs> it's okay if you drop the ball, it's okay. Just try to stay focused. You don't have to go fast. Keep going, nice job guys. Really, really good stuff. Keep count. Throw it up there, don't be shy. Like you're setting a volleyball. Any volleyball players in here? Oops, there you go, keep going. Lift those shins. Ooh, those are tough. You guys done? 10 more? All right, I got 10 more. Two, three, four, eight, <laughs> nine, and 10. Great job, guys. Let's roll all the way back onto your back. Actually, let's uh, not go to our backs quite yet. We're gonna plant your hands. Plant your feet. We're gonna lift up into reverse tabletop. This should feel really good. Go ahead and drop the head behind you. Press the hips towards the ceiling. Lift, lift, lift. 
So in yoga, anytime we're doing something in one direction, it's always a good idea to do something in the other direction. So we call those counter postures. Press, lift, lift, lift. Let the head hang if that feels good. Squeeze those hammies, squeeze those glutes, press through those heels, lift those hips. You should be feeling a nice burn in the back of those legs. And before you lower your hips, go ahead and lift your head and then slowly drop them down. Great job. All right, let's roll onto your backs. Legs at reverse tabletop. Let's go yoga bicycles. So remember, the knees stay over the hips. You're gonna exhale and twist, tap that heel. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. Here we go. Inhale, center, exhale, twist, keep it going. We got one minute of this. You can do it, starting now. Keep it going. And one a really important thing, guys, make sure you're breathing. Inhale, center, exhale as you twist. Good. Keep it going, slow and steady wins the race here. Plus the slower you go, the more muscle fiber you're using. If you go fast, you're working more on your cardio, which is fine. So maybe you can decide what your body needs today. Find a good pace, keep it going, work with your breath. You got 15 more seconds. You can do it. Squeeze, breathe, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, wall to wall stretch, reach through those fingertips, point those toes. Let's roll onto our left side. We're just gonna bust out this core work. We only got a couple minutes left. Come onto your left arm. You're gonna stack the feet on top of one another. Reach that right arm towards the sky. And on your exhale, you're gonna reach behind you. Tap that mat. The top of the hand is reaching for that back edge. Keep it going. You got 15 more seconds. Reach that arm high, reach behind you. Reach underneath and behind you, good. Nice. We got five more seconds. Reach and twist. Three, two, and one. Let's flip it over onto your right side. Right arm down, left arm shoots up over the head. Good, inhale, exhale, tap that mat behind you. Here we go. Keep your balance. Keep it going. Great job. Breathe. One of the most important things you can do here is breathe. 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Oh, those were burdens for me. Great job, guys. Let's go ahead and take a child's pose. Reach those fingertips, rest that forehead, sink those hips back. Let your body just settle down here. Just let yourself marinate all that hard work. Good, deep breaths into the belly. Feeling your hips softening more and more towards your heels. Resting that forehead, maybe rocking the forehead side to side from eyebrow to eyebrow. 
One more deep breath here, fill all the way up. And on your inhale, come on up to tabletop, lie all the way onto your backs, draw your knees in towards your chest, hugging them in, rocking side to side, releasing that low back, maybe pulling the knees into the underarms. Extending your left leg to the mat, drawing your right knee into your underarm. Give it a nice pull. And then with your left leg, I want you to engage that leg. Pretend like you're trying to push the back of the leg down to the mat and you'll deepen your stretch. Good. Go ahead and switch. Right leg long, left leg into the underarm. Again, try to press the back of that right leg down. You'll feel that stretch get nice and tight and deep. Good, once again, being very gentle. One more deep breath. Good, drawing both knees in. And on your exhale, releasing all four limbs to the mat, palms facing the ceiling. Close your eyes, maybe put a towel, a t-shirt, something over your eyes and just allow yourselves five minutes here in Shavasana. Great work today. So remember, stay here for five minutes, close your eyes, maybe take a nap and I will see you all next week. Great job, you guys. Bye-bye.